right, you are welcome again. We are still treating complex numbers. Today, let's talk about root of complex numbers. Root of complex numbers. Now, let's go. We have the formula to be WK is equal to R raised to power 1 all over N, open bracket, cos, open bracket, theta plus 2K pi all over N, close bracket, plus I sine, open bracket, theta plus 2K pi all over N. Okay, close the bracket. Where K is equal to 0, 1, 2, 3, continuously till N minus 1. This is the formula for root of complex numbers. Now let's go. Let's use an example to explain it, okay? Now let's go. Let's find this or let's use this example. Find the four fourth root of the complex number z equal to minus 8, open bracket, 1 plus i root 3. Find the four fourth root of the complex number z is equal to minus 8, purple bracket 1 plus i root 3. So, listen, you know, this our z, let's write it very well in the form of x plus i y. So, that means we're going to use this minus 8 to open the bracket, okay? So, when you use minus 8 to open the bracket, we're going to have minus 8 times 1, it's going to give us minus 8, then minus 8 times i root 3 is going to give us minus 8 root 3 i okay so that means our z is equal to minus 8 minus 8 root 3 i okay good you know our formula say w k equal to r raised to power 1 all over n open bracket cos open bracket theta plus 2 k pi all over n close bracket plus i sine Open bracket theta plus 2k pi all over n, where k equal to 0, 1, 2, 3, continuously till n minus 1. In this place, we're going to look for k, we're going to look for, okay, we already have our k. You know, we say that k is equal to 0, 1, 2, 3, continuously until n minus 1. Then we're going to find our n, then we're going to find our theta, and then also our r. Okay, let's start with r. We're going to say r is equal to square root of minus 8 in bracket raised to power 2 plus upper bracket minus 8 root 3 in bracket raised to power 2. Okay, so minus 8 squared is going to give us 64, and then minus 8 root 3 squared is going to give us 192. So 64 plus 192 is going to give us 256. Then we have square root of 256 is going to give us 16. So our r is equal to 16. Also, let's find our theta. Our theta is going to give us tan inverse of minus 8 root 3 all over minus 8 tan inverse of minus 8 root 3 all over minus 8. So it's going to give us 60 degree. So we we'll see that this 60 degree did not correspond to our right angle when we represent this in Agan diagram, okay? So for us to make it to correspond, we're going to add 180 degrees. So we're going to say 60 plus 180 degrees. So 60 plus 180 degrees is going to give us 240 degrees so our theta is equal to 240 degrees okay now let's first of all represent this in polar form we have found our r and we have found our theta so we're going to say z is equal to 16 open bracket cos 240 plus i sine 240 okay now let's go probably you know in our formula we have wk this wk simply means we are k where k is equal to we have r raised to power 1 all over n over bracket cos theta plus 2k pi all over n close bracket plus i sine theta plus 2k pi all over n where k is equal to 0 1 2 3 continuously until n minus 1 now here we have found our r we have also found our theta then what is our n 
in our question we are given to find the four fourth root so four should be our what n because that is what we are asked to find the fourth fourth okay so for the k we're going to have zero one two we are going to stop at n minus one so we are going to stop we have our n to be four so four minus one is what three that means we're going to start from zero and stop at three okay so we're going to have k equal to zero one two and then three all right now let's go let's represent this properly we're going to have wk equal to our r is what 16 raised to power 1 all over n our n is 4 we're going to have 1 all over 4 open bracket cos 240 plus k times you know this 2 pi is the same as 360 so we're going to have k times 360 all over our n our n is 4 plus i sine 240 plus k times 360 all over 4 okay you know this 16 can be written like this 2 raised to power 4 you know 2 raised to power 4 is the same as 16 so we have 2 raised to power 4 in bracket raised to power 1 all over 4 so this 4 multiplied by 1 all over 4 is going to give us one so we're going to have one okay now let's go so we're going to have two open bracket cos when you say 240 divided by four it's going to give us 60 degrees and then you know we have k times 360 it's the same thing as saying 360k and then 360k divided by four to give us 90k okay so we're going to say 60 plus k times 90 okay plus i sign 60 plus k times 90 bracket where n is equal to 0 1 2 3 continuous on the n minus 1 okay now let's go we have arrived at a point and then this point say that wk is equal to 2 open bracket cos 60 plus k times 90 close bracket plus i sine open bracket 60 plus k times 90 where k is equal to 0 1 2 3 continuous long t n minus 1 so in this list now we are going to find the four fourth root of this complex number properly here now okay now we have our k to be 0, 1, 2, 3. In this our expression, anyone we are solving will say where k is equal to 0. So whenever k is 0, anywhere we see k will replace it with 0. Okay? Now let's go. For k is equal to 0, 1, 2, 3, we have the four fourth root as follows. Where k equal to 0, that is we have w, 0 okay where k is equal to zero w zero okay now in this our expression wherever we see k will replace it with what zero so we're going to have w zero is equal to two open bracket cos 60 plus you know we have k times 90 so we'll replace the k now with what zero so we have zero times 90 degrees close bracket plus i sine open bracket 60 plus 0 times 90 degrees close bracket okay now let's go when you say 0 times 90 is equal to 0 then 0 plus 60 is equal to 60 so we're going to have two open bracket called 60 plus i sign 60 hello yes we have two open bracket called 60 plus i sign 60 in your calculator punch cos 60 cos 60 is going to give us one all over two okay it's going to give us one all over two then we have plus i sine 60 sine 60 is going to give us root three all over two sine 60 is going to give us root three all over two okay now you know this one all over two plus i root three all over two they are in bracket let's use this two to open the bracket okay so we're going to have two times one all over two it's going to give us one then two times 
root 3 all over 2i. It's going to give us root 3i. Alright? So, the 4 fourth root of the complex number where k is equal to 0, we're going to have 1 plus root 3i. Okay? Now, let's go. Where k is equal to 1. Where k is equal to 1. We're going to have w1 equal to 2 open bracket cos 60 plus 1 times 90 close bracket plus i sign 60 plus 1 times 90 okay so 1 times 90 is 90 90 plus 60 is 150 okay so we're going to have 2 open bracket cos 150 plus i sign 150 okay good when you say cos 150 because 150 is going to give us minus root 3 all over 2. Because 150 is going to give us minus root 3 all over 2. Plus, I, we say, sine 150. Sine 150 will give us 1 all over 2. So, we have I, 1 all over 2. Let's use 2 to open the bracket. So, 2 times minus root 3 all over 2 is going to give us minus root 3. And then 2 times 1 all over 2i is going to give us i. It's going to give us what? i. Alright? Good. So, therefore, the fourth root of the complex number where k is equal to 1, we have minus root 3 plus i. Let's go. Where k is equal to 2. We're going to have w2 equal to 2 open bracket cos. Open bracket 60 plus 2 times 90. Close bracket plus I sign open bracket 60 plus 2 times 90. Close bracket. Okay. So when you say 2 times 90, it's going to give us 180 degrees. So 180 plus 60. Okay. So we're going to have 2 open bracket cos 60 plus 180 plus I sign 60 plus 180. So when you say 60 plus 180, it's going to give us 240 degrees. So we're going to have 2 open bracket cos 240 degrees plus I sine 240 degrees. Okay? Now, when you say cos 240, cos 240 is going to give us minus 1 all over 2. And then let's go. Sine 240. Sine 240 is going to give us minus root 3 all over 2. Okay? Good. Now, let's use 2 to open this bracket. We're going to say 2 times minus 1 all over 2 is going to give us minus 1. And then 2 times minus root 3 all over 2 is going to give us minus root 3. So, minus root 3 times i is going to give us minus root 3i. So, therefore, the 4 fourth root, where k is equal to 2, we're going to have minus 1 minus root 3i. Let's take the last one. Where k is equal to 3. Where k is equal to 3. So we see w3 is equal to 2. Open bracket cos 60 plus 3 times 90. Okay? Plus i sign 60 plus 3 times 90. Okay, now when you say 3 times 90, it's going to give us 270. So we're going to have 2 open bracket cos 60 plus 270 in bracket plus I sign 60 plus 270. Okay, so 60 plus 270 is going to give us 330 degrees. So we're going to have 2 open bracket cos 330 degrees plus I sign 330 degrees so cos 330 degrees is going to give us row 3 all over 2 plus i sine 330 degrees is going to give us minus 1 all over 2 so let's use 2 to open it we're going to have 2 times row 3 all over 2 is going to give us row 3 and then 2 times minus 1 all over 2 is going to give us minus 1 so minus 1 times i is equal to minus i so therefore the four fourth root of the complex number where k is equal to 3 we have root 3 minus i okay let's take more example please if you have not subscribed to our channel please do us a favor 
and click the subscribe button and also remember to turn on the notification please always go to playlist to assess our tutorials okay so that you assess them based on their topics okay now let's go